Hi everyone, I'm Hoodie Angel Brandon, and welcome to another month of Fay Freebies. This time we are here to start off June with the Bridal Belongings rerun, featuring our dear Bridal Fjorm, who is super adorable and I would like a merge on, honestly, but uh, gotta stay strong, not spend too many orbs. We are starting to recover our orbs, but still a long way to go, and um, there's a few different things that I'd like to pull on. Uh, in the future, so gotta try and save. Even though that uh, slightly boosted rate for Fjorm is uh, tempting. You know, maybe I'll pull any colorless. Well, uh, that's a good omen for the month to start, right? <laughs> uh, Fjorm has left me waiting at the altar. What a shame. Oh, but we got a compensation pent, uh, the fancy fiancé indeed. He looks quite dapper, and he does have that pulse smoke and rally up attack. Not as in demand as it used to be, but still a good skill to have on hand for fodder. So can't complain too much, even if uh, not the unit that I was hoping to see pop up. But we also have a four-star special focus arena ticket, so going to pull that as well and hope for a blue this time. There we go. If only I could pull all of those blues. But we will pull one of these and see what we've got. Uh, Subasa, I think. Uh, I think this is the second copy of her I've pulled from these tickets. Um, not the blue that I was hoping to see, but there are definitely worse ones in the pool, so similar thing. Can't complain too much, uh, even if I would have preferred Azura or Dimitri or someone. But still a good way to start off the month, starting off pretty strong. I feel very unsafe looking at this banner. <laughs> they uh, they are sinister looking. They are, they are going to beat me. I've wandered into the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> uh, we're going to pull blue, try and get Monica. She's the only one I don't have. Got one blue orb, so that is fine and dandy. Don't need that tempo fodder badly enough to spend on this banner, but wouldn't be bad to have on hand. So we got Karen, um, not helpful. For weekly revival 73 and 24, gonna go, I think, Edelgard. Um, I don't really need any of these characters at this point, but Edelgard isn't bad. If I actually ever get around to investing in her, uh, she could be a good save tank. Um, and then on this one, I think we're going to go Hector just for more DC fodder. Because contrary to what he thinks, I do not actually gotta love the Luke. <laughs> so let's go ahead and pop a green. Perfect. Just got the one. Try and get that free and easy DC fodder. Cannot have enough of it. Always good to have on hand. So we got Gunter. Oh, old man Gunter. As much as I like you, you are not helpful to have on hand. Thank you. <laughs> and on this one, uh, one green. Try and get Edelgard. Yeah, Edelgard isn't a huge priority for me to invest into, but like... Oh, <laughs> speaking of, <laughs> she actually did. She uh, responded to our call. Um... Very cool, actually. Yeah, I was gonna say, Edelgard isn't a character that I'm, like, super compelled to, like, go out of my way to try and plus 10 like I am, like, I want to get plus 10 Dimitri, but my stance on Edelgard has changed over time, so if I ended up with a decently high merged Edelgard, uh, just from, like, tickets and free summons and stuff, then I could see myself going out of my way to finish, uh, merging her up. Uh, that could happen eventually. This one's plus attack, which is probably pretty good. I don't remember. She might want, like, plus defense, but, um, let me see. Yeah, I don't remember what, uh, I don't remember what she wants as her main asset, but plus attack one for free, pretty good. So we will happily take her. For the Bridal Bloom rerun, we're just gonna go blue, try and grab a Ninian. More dancers, always great to have. 
Also, I just like pulling blue. <laughs> one day, we'll get one of those uh, four-star specials I'm hunting. Not this day. Uh, Tatiana, it's not time for you to be on the bridal banner. Actually, I'm kind of surprised. They could... I know a lot of people wish they would do more canon couples. I could definitely see, like, Tatiana and Zeke on one. But, uh, nope. You are, uh, not on the banner this time. So, please go away. <laughs> For the Bridal Blessings rerun, I don't really want any of these. I guess we'll go colorless. If I get a free pull in, I might cry. <laughs> I will never forget the, uh... Lit, bridal Lin summoning disaster when I wanted her staff for forest. Okay, just a Mercedes. Not too exciting, but, uh, yeah. At least it didn't cost anything. Uh, <laughs> guys, who asked for this? Which one of you guys asked for this? Uh, okay, so the midpoint banner is Binding Blade Ascendant Fur. And uh, Mythic Hero Haether. And uh, I was wrong. I had called uh, since, what, February? I'd been calling that this banner was going to end up being engaged. And, well, <laughs> I'm, a, uh, I'm a big enough boy to admit when I'm wrong. But I have no clue what IS is doing. And I don't think anyone else does either. <laughs> I did at least call this mythic. I saw a lot of people uh, guessing it would be uh, the uh, the other girl, the red tome girl with the hood. I can't remember her name off the top of my head. I'm tired. <laughs> but a lot of people thought it would be her. I thought it would be Haythor. So I was at least right on that. But um, I 100% thought it was going to be engaged so that they could do two demotes at the same time and just kind of get more engaged characters to people. Uh, with like a direct demote and then a regular demote, but alas, that is not the case. So, um, yeah, I hope that they don't add engage to the limited hero pool anytime soon because we don't have enough characters and uh, <laughs> there aren't enough accessible ones. Anyway, um, this is another very boring banner. Um, I don't think this one's going to perform super well. I don't think it's a terribly interesting banner. Um, the Mythic actually does look cool. Speedy Infantry Mage. Weapon has effects. Yep, those are effects. Uh, she has the new Magic Null Follow-Up. We actually got two uh, Tier 4 Null Follow-Ups on this banner, which is kind of interesting, but... I don't think there are things that I'm super excited about. I could see maybe getting the physical version for Soleil, but otherwise I'm not sure who I would specifically want these on. Uh, they're solid, I just can't think of anyone off the top of my head who wants them. Uh, she also has Remote Sparrow and Panic Smoke 4, so a lot of good fodder, but I'm more interested because she is a mythic and she has this fancy gold serpent effect that has a lot of effects. It's basically a souped up rally skill. I'm a little sad that she's got a pref rally assist, but no tier four ruse skill, because I really want tier four ruses so that I can put one on my Corrin. But uh, she's who we're going to go for with our tickets. Um, she is joined by Fur, who is just such a odd choice. I know that uh, Binding Blade doesn't have as many options as something like Three Houses for like Ascendant or Rearms, but someone said that they could have done Ascendant Corel and that would have been really cool. He hasn't gotten anything yet. So I wish they'd gone with that if they were going to do another uh, Infantry Sortie, which uh, she sure is. <laughs> she is an Infantry Sword out of 10. But I don't know, just kind of not a super inspired pick. Not the worst pick, I think, but still not super exciting. Uh, Joshua stays as the sole male Ascended hero, which would have been cool if Corel could have joined him and kept him company. And she has that physical null follow-up that I was talking about. I could see this being pretty good for my Soleil. I don't think it's a bad skill. I'm sure other units could use it. Uh, I could honestly give her whole kit to someone who I'm considering. I had a different build that I wanted to give that character, but... Honestly, I could also just kind of give this whole kit. Uh, we'll have to see. Um, attack speed oath 4 and attack speed finish are all good. Um, 
I think the, the main thing holding her back is that attack speed finish is still so premium. So she's not like, she's got good fodder, but it's not fodder that's easy to inherit. Uh, so that's kind of unfortunate. Hope you saved young Rebecca's if you're going to try and get everything off of her at once. And then we've got uh, Noah Xenoblade Chronicles. I That was my first thought when I saw him and I immediately posted that on Twitter. And then I saw everyone else was making the same joke and I felt much less... Uh, funny but um he's got flow guard which is pretty good and then he's got alarm speed def which is good but i don't know how many people would take that over the attack speed version that just seems more generally useful um i guess if you got him as like a pity breaker flow guard plus a t alarm speed def is like pretty good for a pity breaker but i don't know that i would go specifically for this skill over the attack speed version and then uh the demote Dorothy here actually looks really good. She's got a very solid stat line. Um, we just got that arcane bow earlier this year, so if you have copies of that lying around, she could definitely make use of that. Uh, her fodder isn't anything to write home about, but not a bad demote. And then uh, we also got our direct demote, Saul, who I'm disappointed. He's just a, a infantry healer. We get a lot of those. Not too exciting. Uh, I wish they had given him like Wrathful Staff because he's got like a really good offensive stat line actually. I think he could have added Wrathful Staff to the pool. I feel like it's time to have that more accessible because, I mean, there's a tier 4 Wrathful Staff. Why can't we have at least the tier 3 version accessible? And then the Grand Hero Battle Unit is the most interesting unit of the bunch, I think. He is a Axe Armor and he's got a DC weapon with some other effects. It looks pretty solid. He looks like he has a pretty good stat line. He also has special fighter. So I think that he's going to be a pretty popular Grail project. So I think it's kind of funny that uh, Dorothy and uh, the Grand Hero Battle Unit are the most exciting, or the most uh, interesting units to me. But uh, enough rambling. We're going to go green, red as backup. I wouldn't mind having... The mythic so maybe i should just pull any green stones that pop up and again i could definitely use first fodder i have someone who could definitely make use of that but it wasn't my first choice for a build so i don't know that we'll go with that and while we didn't get a free mythic we did get a another renick to replace the one i foddered earlier a few months back for ash so that's kind of fun <laughs> i think that the one that i foddered was plus defense too i remember him having the yellow heart so just funny how that worked out. Not quite as exciting as a free mythic, but free is free, so we will happily take that. Ooh, all those greens are kind of tempting. I have built up the orb supply again, so I really could afford to spend a few orbs here. Um, I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. I could also potentially get some Rickon merges. So we'll, we'll pull any greens that pop up. Try and get that um, mythic... For cheap if not then it's not a huge deal but I'd love to get her just have more tools for AR I think the saddest thing is that she's in astromythic and she looks good but like we need more tools for dealing with Embla I feel rather than tools for dealing with Astra season so no luck there more greens, more greens. Just one this time, though. Come on, give us the mythic. So, uh, no, no, nothing from that. Um, I'd like a refund on that empty orb, please. And on this one... Just Bowie. Not the Demote Green Mage I'm looking for. That is a very old Demote Green Mage. I could plus 10 him easy if I wanted. That is not my Rickon, and that is not the new Mythic. Please give something cool. <laughs> eh, Kath is kind of cool. Not super cool, but she's kind of cool. And last wheel. Well, no greens. Maybe we'll get a fur. Going to the spark is kind of tempting. Again, I do have the orbs for it, but it's Cornboy. 
Sorry. I thought we'd get some tier 4 ruse fodder with the rally up with her power creep rally, but alas, she didn't bring any. So uh, you have come in vain, corn boy. <laughs> but yeah, I could go to spark. I do have the orbs for it, but I do want to keep saving. So even though it's tempting, we're going to just call it there. However, we also have this week's arena ticket. So let's go ahead and grab that. Try and get something cool off of our blue pole. And what is our freebie this time? Oh, Harden, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there he is. Big boy Harden. Not who I was hoping to see by any means, but um, not the worst. Uh, Bold Fighter still isn't super helpful though. Maybe once it gets a tier four version, we'll see it being useful. But for now, just kind of gonna sit there. For this month's new power, we're going to go for Emperor Rudolph, uh, who apparently got a pretty good refine. I don't remember what it was, but uh, it was a good one. And then uh, Tanya also got a good refine, although not going to go for a four star specifically. Uh, backup, though, Nagi wouldn't be bad uh, just for distant counter chain fodder. But we're going to hope for a blue. Very nice. And try and get something off this. Doesn't necessarily have to be Rudolph, just something cool would be nice. Est, uh, not, does not qualify, no. <laughs> Unfortunately. She looks cool in that fairy outfit, but does not qualify as cool in actuality. <laughs> For weekly revivals 25 and 59, I'm gonna pull Lorem on this one just because more dancers are helpful. And on this one, I'm going to pull Sonya. Uh, she's getting up there in merges. I almost used my Forma Soul to get her uh, because I got her with a pretty good kit, but we'll just push her merge count a little higher. Well, we'll just push her merge count a little higher. Never mind. And what do we got instead? What is here in place of this Sonya? It is Odin Dark. Not helpful. <laughs> I guess Moonbow fodder, but I've got so much of that at this point. And on this one, we want a colorless for Laura. Oh. And said it is a Nina. Uh, she, her silhouette looked impressive. I was like, oh, that's something new. No, just Nina. Just a three star. Uh, she looked more important than that. <laughs> For this month's double special heroes, we have Byleth sharing with Byleth. Um, uh, Kadean Byleth is sharing with Halloween Sothis, featuring uh, Halloween Byleth as the backup unit. And uh, kind of makes me wish I hadn't already plus 10 my Byleth because then I could go for Sothis merges at the same time. But uh, no way to have predicted this because. Uh, by all logic, uh, Sothis is a bit of a curveball here. <laughs> I think they just wanted to slow down blue a little bit, uh, and red needs to catch up a lot, so they slowed down by putting a old unit on blue. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if like the next banner has like some random old unit with like colorless or on green as well, just to try and give those colors a bit of a chance to catch up with red, because red is very bloated. I'm still waiting on Kadei and Nino to rerun, and she might be a while, so um, not too surprised that they're uh, trying to slow down the other colors a little bit. Um, but since I already have Kadei and Byleth in his fodder is not super helpful. He does have speed res finish, but I'm not desperate for that. Um, I'm just gonna not try for those Sothis merges, even though it would be kind of nice. Instead, we have uh, Lind on red, who has a lot of fodder, but don't desperately need. And she's also sharing with Ninja Camilla, who has some good fodder, but again, don't really have anyone who needs it. And I already have a copy of her, so don't need more big sis. Um, I would love Leo from green, uh, just because he's awesome. And then um, Elm would also be not a bad pickup. I could keep him, or I could give his Beast and Trace for like Selkie if I ever get her highly merged. Um, and then Colorless is also pretty tempting. We got Triandra with Firestorm Dance, which could be good to have on hand. And then also Elise who has these uh, 
healer skills like poetic justice and holy pressure that I could give someone. So uh, there are options. I think I'm leaning towards green a little more just because I don't have either of the units there, although I think colorless is technically better. Um, I might even pull that colorless as well. Uh, just because you know, they're both pretty tempting. So we just got a Sheena. Um, we did just hit 500 orbs, so it is a little tempting to save. But I think since we've done a good job saving, we can treat ourselves a little with uh, trying to pull in a lease off of just these few orbs. If not, though, we'll go back to saving. Just a Norn. Okay, saving it is, but, you know... It would have been nice to get something uh, for fairly cheap, but uh, this is not the banner that we're waiting for, so we will hold off. Another arena ticket. Come on, something blue. All right, we got one, good. Uh, this one was really hard to get. This set of bonus units that people have on arena defense are rough. <laughs> and we just got an Anna for it. That's not great. She's in codes right now. I have so much drive speed fodder. I I might just put that on my legendary male Byleth, honestly. He doesn't need it. Time's Pulse is better for him in most scenarios, but... But it might bump up his arena score. I'd have to check. Uh, otherwise, I'm really not using it, so... That's a disappointing pull. Even though it's technically okay fodder, it's just not super exciting. For the Tempest Trial banner, we have Shamir and Catherine... Happy Pride Month. <laughs> good for them, good for them. Uh, and they are our duo on the upcoming banner. So uh, makes sense to have them both here. Uh, I think we're going to go for Catherine. Um, yeah, we're just going to go Catherine. Want to pull red. Uh, not necessarily for Catherine. But going to pop that. Hope for something cool. Even Aether Fodder would be great, honestly. Oh, instead we got a free moose spell, which is uh, not really what I was looking for, but it's definitely not bad. That is a new unit at least. So that is some flowers, plus attack, which is also really cool. And he has Dragon Wall, I think, right? Yeah. So that's not bad to have on hand for uh, future chain fodder if needed. And if not, I uh, could probably just use him. So pretty nifty free pull. Cannot complain with that. For a weekly revival 60 and 26, on this one I think we're going to go for Marita since we have all of these. Uh, she does at least give close call fodder, which could be helpful for close call 4 chain inheritance in the future. And on this one we've got Ajora, who I think I might pull any blues that pop up on that one. But first, let's go ahead and try and pull a red. Well... That's unfortunate. I guess Eleonora, but don't desperately need her. Oh, <laughs> well, here she is. Uh, I got her a while back, I think from one of the free summon tickets. Um, so she wasn't as exciting as she would have been if I hadn't gotten her recently. Uh, but she does have attack speed push fodder, which is okay generic A slot, so... Not bad. And then on this one, we will pull blue. Any blues, try and get any extra copies of Azura. So we will get two blue stones on this one. Uh, I am still planning to pull Dimitri and Azura on their weekly revival in July, uh, right around my birthday. Uh, hoping to finish Dimitri and maybe Azura if I have enough orbs and we get lucky enough. But getting an extra copy of her ahead of time would help push us a little closer to our goal. So I'm willing to drop a few orbs here and pull that extra blue. Fortunately, uh, no luck. But hopefully when the time comes, uh, we will have all those orbs saved up and we'll be able to push much harder on her next revival. For this year's first summer banner, um, I can't say I'm too excited with it. I swear we've already had a banner called Summer Longing, but I guess not. Um, anyway, this one does not excite me much. 
there's not too much here. We've got Larshell, who has a pretty nice offensive stat line for a demote flying healer, and I think she might be our first demote flying healer, which is pretty cool. Um, if we get an arcane staff, I think she will be a very good user of one, but as it stands, she's not too interesting in terms of her kit. Wrathful Staff is a skill that I think I mentioned on Sol should be in the four star pool at this point. Like it's so old and it's really just a skill that staff units need to do their job. So like, I feel like that should be on a four star normal pool unit, not just finally popping up on a demote. Um, and then she also has Blade Session, which Blade Session in A is just like not very interesting. Yeah, it gives a potential value of nine, at attack speed but like but you can also get that off of ideal and catch four and on a much less finicky condition so like i just don't think it's that exciting i think they're probably doing this ahead of, of introducing blade session four in the future but um for now it's just not that exciting and i've got blade session fodder saved up Earthwind Balm, I guess, is kind of cool if, if you need an enhanced balm for, like, arena scoring or something. But it's not as exciting as the healer offensive specials. She doesn't even come with, like, return or nudge. And then her weapon is interesting. It inflicts guard on the nearest foe and also foes within two spaces of that foe that have a save skill equipped which does give a bit of an anti-save niche for this weapon, but I just think that guard alone is not enough to actually combat save units. They have so many other things that I don't think that's going to be enough to really make it worth running. And it's got some other effects that don't really relate to that at all, so kind of a weird weapon. It's interesting, but I don't think it'll ultimately make that much of a difference. If it was actually like undefended, like Embla's skill, then it would be amazing, but uh, just guard alone... Not even like guard and then like penalties or something or something that negates follow-up attacks. Uh, overall, just kind of not that impactful in my opinion. But her stat line does look good. Um, the art is cute too. And then she's got Ephraim, who is okay. Um, he is, I think, the first non-three house lord that is a male to be on the summer banner, which is actually cool. I was surprised it took this long so like, I know that the females sell more, but characters like Ike, Ephraim, Hector, like, they're definitely popular, so I don't know why they just haven't ever been allowed on Summer Banners, so cool to see them finally break the trend. Again, technically, Dimitri and Claude showed up last year, but you could have definitely argued that was just Three Houses bias, so cool to see the other male lords actually showing up finally. He's got um, his Sunlight Bangle, which is pretty cool, and then this Nifty X. Um... But in terms of fodder, he's got attack def clash 4, which is nice, and then alarm attack def. I was thinking this could be good on Papa Gerald, but honestly, I think it would just be kind of a side grade to what he's already got. Um, not bad, but not skills that I'm in a huge rush to grab for him. Otherwise, I could save it for, like, Vander if we ever actually got him. I have no faith in that happening, but it would be cool for Vander. It would be very good on him, actually, but... Alas, <laughs> I don't think he's ever getting in. And then finally, we have uh, Shamir and Catherine. Um, and they have Remote Sparrow, which is kind of becoming the new attack speed push and attack speed catch, I think, where it's just going to pop up on all the offensive ranged units. Um, not that it's a bad skill by any means. They've got Deadeye, and then they've got the Fatal Smoke and the new Brash Assault 4, which seems okay but i don't know uh it just seems like it's a little finicky a little gimmicky like it definitely has synergy with remote sparrow but it seems like the kind of skill that is just going to struggle to find a place on a lot of units uh could definitely see it on more of the like ranged cavalry units or ranged flyers though who don't get as many good b slot options but i can't really think of who I would want this on. Maybe Groom Robin could use it. That might be good, but uh, I don't know. Inflicts Death Res minus four on foes. Just kind of weird. I feel like they should have just gone with Boost Your Attack by four, but anyway, 
Uh, and then their bow has like all these effects. Most notably, they have the Discord VC going on here. <laughs> uh, man, these two would be a nightmare in, in a voice chat. They would be bickering back and forth. No thank you. Uh, you guys can enjoy yourselves together, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, overall this banner, there's some okay stuff here, but there's definitely not anything that I'm like, ooh, I would really love to use this to upgrade my characters or anything. There's no characters that I'm desperate to have on their own. Uh, I feel like this is like a 3 out of 10 banner. Um, I feel like the last summer banner I was this totally uninterested in, even in terms of fodder, was like the Noir and Innis summer banner. That was way, way long ago. This one's definitely better than that one due to like power creep and everything, but it's a similar level of disinterest. We're going to try and free pull blue. And we did get one, so that is good. Try and get a, uh, a free Brash Assault 4. Could potentially put that on Robin again, but uh, instead we got Obero. Not losing uh, sleep over that. No tears. Uh, just going to keep saving for uh, potentially next Summer Banner, the next New Heroes Banner, or hopefully just getting to save for that Dimitri Ajora rerun. For Heroes with Iceberg, I cannot believe they actually put Bastion on here. Um, no one, no one's pulling for the demote. <laughs> um, and then we got we got Morgul Borgle and Marianne. We're gonna go for uh, Morgan. Uh, Attack Res Menace wouldn't be bad to have on hand. Although we did get a combat manual, and honestly, I'd probably just merge him into that, but. Uh, well, no options, so I guess we're pulling blue for Marianne, but probably would have just kept the Morgan if we'd gotten him, uh, because he is cool, but the fodder wouldn't have been bad to have. Uh, I could have gone on Robin, in fact. <laughs> he could have used that. Uh, probably would have been pretty good for him, but, uh, alas, no such luck. For the Hall of Forms banner, we're going to go for Julia, since I don't have her, and being a legendary for bonus weeks would be pretty nice. Uh, backup, probably Larce, just because she is... Just because she is seasonal, so we can't get her as easily. But, um, honestly, this whole banner, I wouldn't really mind any of them. I think they're all pretty okay. Almost tempted to pull that second blue... We did just hit 600 orbs, which is pretty nice. It's been a while since I've had this many, so I'm a little hesitant to spend some, but I think I can afford like four orbs here. Just just toss a few, uh, try and get that legendary because it would be very helpful to have. So we got Sedith. <laughs> Sedith, I love you, but you have uh, nothing of value at the moment, so. No thanks. <laughs> For the rerun of Summer Vacation, I already have Dimitri and Claude, so thinking between Edelgard or Micaiah, um, either one would be great. I still can't believe that uh, Summer Micaiah didn't end up on the special thing for the Engage heroes that we voted for since she was the most recent one. Kinda sad, would've liked to have gotten her there, but Alas, um, and then on this one we've got Edelgard, and honestly more exciting than the idea of Edelgard herself is Assault Troop. Having that as fodder would be kind of nifty. Uh, that was one of the things I actually considered for Lumera, was getting Assault Troop on her and pretending that she has Sigurd's Ring equipped. I don't know if that would actually be good, but I think it would be very funny, so. <laughs> um, yeah, between those, I think... I think Edelgard probably gives me a little bit more value, but uh, there was no chance at Micaiah anyway, so we'll just take this one red and uh, see what we get. Just a sun boy. Morgul Borgul, you're not helping. <laughs> I don't need dull ranged fodder, thanks. Alright, we got another arena ticket. This week was also very rough. <laughs> Frankly, the last like month of uh, Arena has just been miserable. And there's no blue on top of it, so very cool. I guess we'll take this green. Hope for something 
decent. Could use DC fodder. Uh, instead, we got a Deirdre. Uh, she is okay. Not the most exciting. I would have rather had Julia between her and Julia, but uh, it's... Uh, it was, was it free? I think it took a toll on my mental health. I don't know that that was a free summon, honestly. <laughs> Ugh. For weekly revivals 27 and 61, we're going to go Kyria on this one, I think. Layla is back up, and then on this one, I don't really care. I guess we'll go Ephraim, uh, just because I want to pull blue. <laughs> but, yeah, don't have a huge affinity on this one. This banner is pretty dated. <laughs> uh, Tatiana, not supremely useful. And then on this one, red or colorless? Well, <laughs> oops, all red, all colorless. Let's go ahead and grab this one. See what we got on red here. Just an Ogma. Okay, nothing too exciting, nothing too thrilling. For the rerun of Summer Vibrance, gonna go for Ash, just because. Well, okay, I guess we'll go for Mercedes because we don't have her yet, but I wanted Ash. I would have pulled any blues that popped up for Ash, but alas, Summer Boy continues to elude me. Uh, so there you go, Henry. That's not super helpful. So this month's voting gauntlet banner is up. Uh, it is hat themed. <laughs> Rip my girl Fram. She would have loved this theme. But um, I feel like our choice of color has been made for us. So let's just go ahead and... Well, we got one at least. But we're going to just take this and see what we get. <sighs> Nothing too exciting apparently. Yeah, just another Marcia. Gotten quite a few of her. My silly girl does not have a hat. She cannot be here. It's against the law. For the rerun of Summer Passing, we're just going to go for Harmonic Mia. Never mind. Um, I don't really want Joshua or Selena. Neither of them are that helpful, but I guess we'll pull blue just because it's blue. Just a moonbow. Cool. <laughs> cool. For Tiki and Ninian's battle, we're just gonna go blue. We've got Ninian and Nils there, and I like both of them, so getting one of them would be great. And what have we got? Uh, nothing, apparently. Yeah, that's uh, nothing. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, but we also have an arena ticket, so hopefully we'll get something good from this. Once again, no blues. <laughs> I hate that you don't get, like, one of each color. But hopefully something good from green, at least. Oh! Oh-ho! It's Hector! <laughs> That's not a bad pull by any means. Distant counter fodder, always helpful to have on hand, so we will happily take this man. Uh, he's plus attack, though. I uh, don't think I'm gonna be using him for anything besides uh, fodder. <laughs> Finally, to end the month off, we have the new legendary hero, Guinevere. And, um... I wouldn't say she's the most exciting unit, but honestly, after Hinoka, I don't really care who they give it to. It'll be more fitting than her. <laughs> so, she looks okay. She is a... Uh, similar to her base form, she is a anti-magic unit, uh, effective against tomes, and she has a lot of res and a lot of effects to help boost her and let her uh, tank mages more. She's got speed res finish, the new Null C Disrupt 4, and uh, this pref skill, which is uh, just a lot of things that we saw on Saline earlier this year. So, interesting. Uh, Null C Disrupt 4 is actually pretty cool. Um, damage reduction and a attack speed debuff. 
is pretty nifty. I just can't really think who I would want it on. I think it would be really cool for Dimitri if he didn't already have something in his B slot. So yeah, I'm just not sure who I would put this on, unfortunately, but it does seem kind of cool. I could put it on Byleth, I guess. That'd be kind of funny if I wanted to run DC Byleth, but I think uh, Byleth has kind of better things to do at the moment. So I don't know. I don't really have any other mages that I can think of who have like the res to use it, I feel. So uh, for now, not gonna chase it, although it could be kind of nifty. She is sharing with Asker and Famortis, both pretty good, although we did get Famortis for free. So the value there is a little reduced. Um, I actually think Red is looking a little more enticing with Alir. I can't believe she got reran on the legendary banner before male Alir even got in. Before we even got a second engage banner at all. Absurd. Yuri and Veronica, all very solid units. I think red is actually what interests me the most this time around. Green, we have Haythir. She's sharing with Hell, who uh, I guess is a little more in demand now that Guard Bearing 4 exists, but uh, still not the uh, most enticing, and I actually have one left over. And then Xander. Man, I forgot his fodder was bad. Why did they give him... Well, I know why they gave him Seafood, because they want to to be funny but uh not great and then blue i think is the weakest uh joffrey attack def menace flow force not bad as a pity breaker uh on normal pool but not super exciting here same thing with chloe she's got distant stance and pegasus flight for okay but not really something i'd go out of my way for and then Uller has Life and Death 4 and Unupgraded Times Pulse. Oh, and I guess she's got Deadeye, but yeah. Uh, blue is just kind of a dud to me. So I think we're going to pull red, colorless as backup, but not going to spend any orbs. Got the uh, red there, so hopefully we get something cool. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> just a Seth to end the month, but that's fine. Uh, I actually got a... A lot of stuff this month. Overall, I think we did pretty well this month. Uh, got a good number of units. Not all of them were especially exciting, but uh, a good quantity. I think the best unit we pulled was probably that Brave Adel Guard, who was pretty good. Uh, Hector as well for that DC, and Moosebell had Dragon Wall at least, so uh, there was some good stuff there, uh, but. Definitely the uh, quantity was the most exciting thing. And we did spend a few orbs, but not too many. Uh, just like, I think, 24 orbs. So, uh, not breaking the bank or anything. So, overall, very content with this month. Uh, it felt like it dragged on longer than usual because we also had the uh, midpoint free summons, which were a little underwhelming, but more than made up for it here. So, anyway... Uh, thank you guys, as always, for watching, joining me on another month of freebies. Uh, hopefully you guys got some cool stuff as well. And best of luck to you guys on your summons, whether they be free or otherwise. And until next time, this is Hoodie Angel Brandon, signing out.